Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here once again in Bristol. Good to see of Transport Fever 2 as one of our latest locomotives, our latest trains and our latest route, the Stonehouse to Stroud line, made a lovely, was 160,000 by carrying 28 people from Ebley, Stonehouse and Cam. It does go to Cam all the way to, does it go to Cam? No, it doesn't. It goes. That's why it says Stonehouse and Stroud. Yeah, pay attention. I only created this uh, this <laughs> that, that line a few days ago, and I've already completely forgotten what the heck I'm doing. Right. Hello. Yes. Welcome. Um, a few th a little not not much to be honest. Just a few a couple of little things have changed since the last episode. Um, I've actually put in a bus line between Stroud and Bowbridge, just to sort of boost up the use of that new line uh, going out to Stonehouse, uh, and to bring bring Bowbridge back into into the fold, to be honest, and just sort of get those people uh, excited about places they can go. So if we look at the charts, yeah, as you can see, that that's quite an excited uptick in their destination demand. OK, so what are we going to do today? There's so many things to do. Once you get a map like this, which is just a collection of closely knit towns and cities, bustling with people wanting to go places as you can see here i mean the bristol south line is just overflowing with people uh, so much so that it shares a platform here in bedminster with the bristol western express um, and they're shoving each other off the platform practically there just isn't room they have to close the gates and send people away which isn't good for my profit but then again i am <laughs> very profitable in the time I've been talking so far, less than two minutes, I have made over two and a half million dollars. Uh, so I'm going to repay that just in case I keep on talking um, and I incur another month's interest on that. So one of the things uh, I was considering doing was playing with the this line here, which has turned into be had to be very profitable. This shared line between Bristol Temple Meads and Western Supermare. Uh, there's a stopping service, the Bristol South Rail and the Western Express, which just stops at uh, Bedminster, Nailsy Yatton, uh, ne sorry, Nailsy and Backsit, Backwell uh, and Western Supermare. But I'm not going to do that yet. What I thought we would do, well, not exactly, is we'd start looking at some real freight routes. We do have a couple in play already. Uh, I, I think actually, I think our first one, was it down here? Is that still going? It is. It is. It is. Yeah, our, our, our wood, our logs to planks to machines, that's still going down here around Whirl. I think it actually only serves Whirl. Uh, yeah, I, I did include Western Supermare once upon a time, but that got such so few, so few deliveries. It really just uh, wasn't profitable at all. If we look at the Whirl tools supply, yeah, that that's quite nice for a handful of vehicles. 166,000. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, look at that cost to income ratio. That's quite impressive. So that one's been good. That I think is our first, our oldest route. Uh, and that's doing quite nicely. We'll leave that one for the time being. We have fuel running up here, uh, running from the, the close by oil well to the refinery to the fuel refining plant here. Uh, that's all done by trucks again. And that's all one route, I think, isn't it? Yep. Again, that's making 169,000 so far in the last year. That's quite handy. And a single train which transports the fuel down from here into Filton, down there. And that makes nearly half a million. That's doing quite nicely, too. It's a bit up and down, perhaps, by the look of it. Probably due to the slow speed of these, these road vehicles. We will come back and do more with fuel, but that's not where I want to go to today. Uh, and then I think our, our third and final uh, cargo route that we set up was this one here. No, actually, there's two here, isn't there? Gosh, I do so many things, I, I forget them all. <laughs> now, we had one here, which was stone from the quarry into the con mat, which then, this was our first sh ship route. I really should go back and check. Perhaps I should keep a history of what the heck I do in this game. <laughs> and that sends the Conmat down here to Avonmouth Docks for delivery, again, by truck into Shirehampton. Yeah, we do have another machinery route up here, don't we? 
uh, which goes pull pilming tool. Well, that's not quite so profitable. Uh, delivers tools there again. That's a cross a cross channel operation as well. The logs to the planks back again for the tools. Uh, in fact, do the boats make any money on that? They really should. Yeah, that boat. Yeah, nearly six hundred thousand. I'm quite happy with that. No, so. Those are the, the freight routes we've got at the moment, and one of those is going to be getting um, a big makeover. Or more, more like an extension. Now, the first thing I want to do, though, before we get into that, is make a small change. You may remember in the last episode that I changed Lydney here to allow the Express, the Midlands Welsh Express, coming from Cam here through to Chepstow to go straight through. Actually, it stops in Stonehouse, doesn't it? Yeah, it's from Stonehouse Cam uh, down to Chepstow. Just to, to go straight through Lydney, which doesn't stop at at all. Now, I had planned in that last episode to do the same sort of thing for the Western Express and the Bristol South Rail routes to put a new bypass into one of the stations there. Most of the stations, you may recall when we created this line, uh, I did put bypasses in. Uh, like here in Yatton, where there's two through tracks for the express to take straight through Yatton. Um, now, this really is a kind of constraint I put on myself. I don't like just randomly removing and rebuilding towns and cities and infrastructure. I could. I can afford it. There's no problem with that. But it's, it's a more interesting challenge if you can do it without doing too much sort of demolition. So I had thought we might not be able to get away with putting a passing track here into Whirl. But you know what? I think I might. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to put in a new passing track into Whirl. Uh, it's slightly different to the one we put into Lydney. Uh, and let's crack on with it, shall we? So what we want to do is configure this station. I'm going to try and do it without demolishing any other infrastructure around. So we're going to put just the one passing track in there. Uh, so can we fit platform? We can. That's the key thing. We can fit platform here between the existing station and the road, which is really, really cool. So we need to do that. We'll put an underpass on there. Uh, again, you know, it's not strictly necessary for the game to operate, but, you know, it looks it looks more accurate. It looks more, more user friendly. Uh, so we want to delete now. Uh, this canopy. I want to get rid of that underpass. Get rid of all that there. Which is going to upset the South uh, Bristol South Rail route because it doesn't have any track going through there now. Uh, track. We want to put some track in there. Okay, there we go. Um, and we can, in fact, now delete this station track because that doesn't need to be station track. It can be straight through ordinary track. Yeah, we can't delete it from here. We're in a different mode. Or should we put the canopy on there just to complete the job? Well, I suppose we should. Uh, a little brown canopy will go there. That's nice. Uh, no, we'll just leave one canopy. It is only a small station after all. Right, so we don't need world there anymore. So the trick is going to be to get, where's the track there, is to get this track lined up with the existing routes. So uh, let's put it, make it curvy. Actually, let's put this track here, this straight through to start with. Get you done. That's you. And you, you're coming up this way. So. If we take you, yeah, we'll take you from there. We'll take you from here, I think. Okay, like so. That's good. And we're going to need to connect uh, this track as well. Uh, so we need you to go somewhere like that. That's as fast as we can make you. Let's get rid of those signals. I think they might prove awkward. Uh, so let's get you up there. 
I thought we could make you faster than that. We can make you faster than that, surely. 50, no, looks like 54 is about the best speed we can get on that switch. Okay, that will do. And likewise out here, or we can take it from those signals probably. Are you actually joined up? I think you are. Yeah, I think you are. Okay, and likewise from here. Can we get you to, oh, we can get 56. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Okay, so the plan is to have both the up and down express lines, uh, express route, actually using the centre track. Uh, and uh, the stopping train will obviously come off uh, and stop at the platform as appropriate. So, uh, yep, that works, that works. So, can I get the signalling right on this? We don't need it to be... Uh, if you're coming out of there, we probably want the signal... We'll leave the signal there, to be honest, I think. Uh, but we do want a signal coming out from the platform. And you will be there, as close to the switch as I can get you. And likewise, coming out this way. We want you to be as close to that switch as possible. Okay. I th think that will do. But we do want some signals this side of that those crossings, those crossovers, so yeah, we'll place you there and there, which should enable trains to get moving as soon as possible, as soon as uh, the other, the preceding train has crossed through. They're, oh dear, they're bi-directional, we don't want that, they can be single, uh, likewise with you, and you, there you go. Uh, Al and you. Okay. Now, the Bristol South Rail. Nope, that's entirely wrong thing to click. There you go. So, you need to stop. At Whirl, you need to be on platform two. Yes! Splendid. Right. Ah, that looks good. Yeah, as we can see there, the stopping train uh, goes off to stop at the platform because it knows what it's doing and the express train quite remarkably is automatically taking that center line that is excellent well that was remarkably easy wasn't it that was very easy the thing is are any of these trains are oh, you're an express where are you going are you going to take the center line you are good fellow and the stopping train has stopped at the signal, waiting for him to pass. Excellent! It's exactly what we want to happen. Uh, we will, in a... Oh, we're about to cross into 1903. Will we get a new locomotive? Will we get a new locomotive? No, we haven't. <laughs> so, uh, I think the Greyhound on the express line... Yeah, does it's travels at 75. We do have a couple of locomotives that go at 80, so we might well employ those, or an even faster one as time goes on. But that's better, and hopefully that works quite well. And we won't see a red exclamation mark come up there telling me my signalling's gone all wrong and I've got trains that what are stuck. Okay, right, that's that first thing of today's episode out of the way. Now, what I want to do here with the CONMAT supply here to Avonmouth Docks what are we doing in Shirehampton? We're supplying 80% already of the CONMAT requirement there. Um, we really want somewhere else to deliver this to. So what I'm thinking is delivering it to Westbury upon Trim, or Westbury on Trim rather, to French A and to Down End. Maybe Emerson's Green as well. We're going to create a freight line going striking straight through the heart of the north side of Bristol City. Can I make it work? I really have no idea, but we're going to try. And the other thing, of course, is we do have requirement over here in Portbury and Tickenham for, uh, oh, and Nailsey for Conmat as well. So we could have trains going in both directions. So I'm thinking 
we'll have the train station here. I had thought initially, initially I might put it over here alongside the uh, the passenger station, but I don't think that'll make that really doesn't make much sense. I think so. We'll keep them separate because the Avonmouth dock is quite a major operation. So I don't want tracks. I want buildings. So the question is. Uh, oh, we don't. Oh, we don't have British style buildings for cargo. That's that one. My, my slight disappointment. Um, again, I mean, I I'm not a modern. I, I'm no expert on train history. That uh, we don't have that many customized, modded or sort of historically specific cargo stations. Everyone focuses on the passengers. Maybe freight stations didn't have particular company signage and ownership and stuff like that. So, if we stick you in there, oh, we're connected to both the dock and the truck station. That is a result. Actually, can we, the thing is you're not connect, cool. can we connect you into, yeah, I can't connect you directly to, oh, I can, the truck stop. What I'm thinking is getting over the, the Avonmouth there, we'll want to go up a bit. So, I'm thinking, yeah, somewhere like that will be very good. Just two lines. Oh, let's make it three. I think that works quite well. I'm not sure about the slopes on there. But, yeah, what the heck. Okay, so we're going to... Ooh. <laughs> Actually, looking at this, that's quite a tight turn to get to Westbury, isn't it? That is a very tight turn getting out there. Uh, we might be better off going up to Patchway. No, I, I really want to go up through the centre here. We could go to Cotton, actually. Oh, there's so many places that want <laughs> Conmat. Right, okay, let's just see what sort of track we can lay from here if we take this track here uh, I can get it around actually 50 miles an hour that's not too bad actually we could do that we could the question is can I send it upwards I can it doesn't need to go up by much to get over that track. Okay, right, what we'll do, let's put... Uh, we'll, we'll have you on the level. What I want to do here, just put in a marker. And that's 96 grand, but thankfully, uh, in the last update, we got the option for a refund. So, if we don't use a particular piece of track, is it fine? take you to somewhere like that and S curve it around Westbury okay right so let's do that so what I'm looking at is somewhere around here I want a bridge over that track so let's page up nope up again No, uh, doesn't like that. Do I need to start out a bit further? Ah, okay, a bit more of an incline. It seems happier. Or oh, if I ah ah ah, no, it doesn't like that. Ah, right. Ooh, it did. I saw it flash. Did you? I'm I'm sure you did. Uh, come on. You gave me a bridge just then. Come on, you particularly annoying piece of track. Uh, one thing we can try doing, perhaps, is just laying... Oh, maybe that's what the problem is. Yeah, that remnant of the old marker we had in there. Down uh, to... No, what about from that side? No. Okay, I mean, that looks like sufficient headroom. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it loves making those collisions, doesn't it? But if we go out that far... Really? Do we need to go out that far? No, we don't. We could do that. And that could join up. That looks good. Okay, I have added another mod to the game. Uh, now, I think this is from JK. Um, a Great British modder, or a modder of Great British assets. <laughs> so, uh, both, both lo uh, it does locos as well, and trains, um, and also bridges and stuff. And he's given us a whole host of new bridge styles to choose from. Um, including viaducts and all sorts of things. And I'm basically going to be stuck here for choice, basically. I'm going to be thinking, I've got too many to choose from here. Um... Ah, oh, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Uh, what's that one? Um, one, okay. Well, that one looks better. That that's that's a nice dirty brick colour. That is. Um, does it tell seventy five? Yep, that's good. I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, let's get rid of you and you and you. Can we get? Our track from there to there, we can. Oh, it does get a bit costlier going up, but there you go. Right, and then we need to. Uh, do we want? Uh, um, that's really just distorting that road. I'd rather it didn't. But uh, let's let's. I don't think we got vehicles using that road. Let's get rid of it for the moment. I'm sure someone will put it back. Don't worry about that. There you go. Ah, oh, this this is expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, um, well, that's a little bit cheaper. Okay, so we take you. Oh, and a tunnel. How much of a tunnel is that? That's a that's half a million's worth of tunnel. That is a but that gets it's getting long. No, we don't need to be that long. Uh, that will do, I think. Yeah, and then we can kind of. Oh, this landscape is too up and downy. Uh, okay, so where do we want our station in Westbury on Trim to go? Let's check you out. Ah. Down here looks like an ideal location. So let's spin you around. Just yeah, this does look. Let's uh, spin you around. We don't want three tracks. Two will be more than enough. And I think yeah, if we put you, because we're going to go out in that direction. So somewhere... Now the interesting thing here is that's the patchway down into Clifton Line, isn't it? Are we going to have trouble connecting with that? I think if we put you... Yeah, I think if we put you somewhere like that... That looks good. Oh, we've got slope. Oh, I put yes, another mod. Oh, on that, I, I don't think when I was talking about the bridge mod, um, I think it's JK, but just to be sure, I have listed all the mods I'm using in my, uh, in, the, in the Steam, they're all added into my Steam collection, the link to which you can find in the description below. And one of the new mods I've added is Slopey Stations. Uh, of course, the trick then is to work out ooh, which direction it's going in. That looks a bit better actually. Four looks a bit much. Is that a bit much? Well, what does Terrace do? I'm not entirely sure. I can play with that later. Uh, two. That looks kind of flat, doesn't it? It does. If we take that to zero... Yeah, it's slightly difficult to tell. It's not that great a slope here. 
I think that I that that will help I think uh, so if we put you in like that then we can connect the roads up later okay let's uh, how can we get around there can we get we can bit of a roadway collision easily resolved sorry chaps uh, yeah compulsory purchase of someone's property sorry about that you know progress <laughs> and do we really want a thundering great viaduct running across our landscape there you know what why not there are some around here okay uh, all right. Okay, so the M and S look like they define the width of the segments, whatever you call them. Uh, B, not quite sure what B stands. Oh, brick. Uh, no, I've, I, I'm none the wiser. Uh, so it's got that right. Oh, do we want that on the on the fence on the edge? Is that? Yeah, I think I'd rather that, actually. Yeah, brick edge, by the look of it. That's good. Uh, is there oh, there's variations in each of these. Oh, my goodness. Too much choice. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Uh, no, the medium. There you go. I, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, so 600 grand. Well, well, there you are. That doesn't look too offensive, actually, does it? No, that looks quite good. Right, and onwards to French A. Now, this is going to be fun. Okay, so we could try and slip you in there. Or, to be honest, French A does appear to be very widely spread, doesn't it? It looks like one <laughs> very residential district one industrial and one commercial district and none of them meet up none of them talk to each other that is very very unusual i think we could stick you in there or we could stick yeah french a and down end they could share a station that might make more sense well, i think that would uh, the question is then is how to route that I think yeah, if we place that, spin that round for the moment, a bit like that, we'll make it ease, um, easier to come out to down end. Okay, we'll put you in there. I'm not entirely convinced that's the best place for it, but you know, we've got what we've got. All right, so can we take you out from there? And <laughs> the one place it does not want to build a bridge, of course, is over the other track. Very clever. Yeah. Not happy with that. Uh, where the heck has that station gone? You're all the way over there. Wow. Right, no. How can we draw this in slightly more rational segments? I don't particularly want a viaduct bridge thing coming out of here. But we are dealing with odd slopes. So actually, can we take that down? We can't take it down any further. So I'm just wondering if a tunnel under there might be the solution to this. Or... No. We'll put the station on the other side of the towns there, I think. It might give us an, an emissions problem when it comes to French A and passenger services, but... Mm. Okay, so I get a refund on that. Some amount. Okay. Oops, why did I press the wrong key? I want... I tend to press B instead of N or M to turn things around. So if we stick you 
there. I think. Oh yeah, I think that makes for a whole more, whole much more sensible solution. In terms of the sort of track of the track, as it were. Um, in terms of the emissions, it's less good. But okay, let's try that. How does the track come out of here, though? Badly is going to be the answer. Right, let's get rid of you. And you. We'll leave that one road in there. Okay, you're coming out that way. This is okay. Another house gets demolished. A little bit of a bridge. Do I want a bridge or an embankment? I think the embankment might work better there, actually. Okay. And... Yes, if we cut through there, that I think will be better. Right, he's gone and done it. Okay, and then coming out here. I'm just wondering if we can actually utilise this line at all and just have some complicate the trouble is we are very close now to that station there if I were to move that station a bit further down would that help I think it might okay uh, we've got bridging going on there do I want that actually that looks a little bit nicer doesn't it than bridges uh, I've run out of money it's, oops, it's okay, I do have the ability to take out huge loans, so we're not too worried about that. The only trouble there, of course, is it's now forgotten where I was going. Okay, so... If we cut in there, I want you to be an embankment. Okay. And I'm really, at this point, not entirely convinced that I know what I'm doing. But we're going to suck it and see. Alright, oh, the cargo building in there again. Uh, I've, still, I've still got the slope on. I'm not sure I always want that. Uh, see, if we turn you around like that. If we put you in that sort of direction, I think it makes it easier for us then to connect with the existing passenger line. Okay, let's see how that works out. Let's see, let's get you out of there. And running. Oops. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to have trouble with our roads again. I think you're the main problem. Do I have any lines running across there? I'm not sure I do. Ah, oh, there is that one bus route, Filton, Filton to Cottom. Mm, we might have to take, take some action to make that journey a little bit less fraught in terms of interaction with train lines. You really do not want to cross that road, do you? And I don't want to run you. Will do. Will that work? Okay, let's try that. So if we connect you up there and to there. Okay, slowing down here, which is fine, I think, because we're going to have some sort of complicated switching thing going on over there. That's that's fine. This bridge design here is uh, unusual. Let's describe it like that. <laughs> so, 
Uh, okay, so which bridge did I... This would have been one of the standard bridges back then. Not you. Uh, certainly not you. You? Yes, you. Okay. Mm. Not entirely convinced that that is a sensible solution to whatever problem we've got now. Okay, so... Uh, okay, can I connect you to there? Not quite. Not quite. It goes there, though. Which means what? Okay. And you're coming out from... Oh, sure, a long way away. Okay, so let's bring this second line out. Whoa, just managed to squeeze it <laughs> without deleting any more of the town. Okay, so we've got you there. Actually, I'm... Mm. So we probably want you don't we and we're going to oh this is going to be a mess of a junction you know there are people who plan these things out and sort of have an idea of how things actually work i i just press buttons and hope that when they all collect together there will be a solution that makes sense at the end of it and i'm not sure this is it okay now, if we take you to there, can I take... Yeah, you're happy to go across there. That is really messing up that road. Okay. And what I want is to you... Actually, no, let's take you out. And there. Uh, and there. Ideally, I want this track here to connect there. Okay, has anyone worked out what the heck I'm doing yet? I'm, I'm sure, I'm not sure I have. <laughs> so, actually, no. no. That will, that will work. Okay, yeah, we don't need that bit there. So if we get rid of you. Okay, yep. Yeah. Now, the moment the passenger line is single track. And... Whoa! You so nearly connected. Why the heck did you not want to connect? And this looks a right old mess. Does it not? You can tell me. I'll, I'll, I'll understand. I'll <laughs> I won't be upset. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're diverging from me from the line and there you go okay so if we switch you to we don't actually need you to go up there we just need you to cross over and there again we don't need you to cross over there so I think these switches should work fine as they are we don't need to double slip them because the traffic is not going in, it's not sort of changing direction there at all. Okay, I, am, am, I, am, I, am I not making sense? Does this not look like it might actually work? I think it might actually work, which is kind of scary. Right, so we put some signals on, single track them, or one way them rather. Okay, so that's you. We'll have you on the other side as well. Uh, you may need to go further back, but... Yeah, well, and coming up this way, we want you, because this is the freight route, you will give way to the passenger service, which goes straight through the middle there. Straight through the middle. Okay, um... Uh, we don't need two signals there. I wasn't paying attention. One of you. And one on the other side, please. There you go. Okay. And likewise, I think, here. 
we'll put some yeah on the entrance and exit of that bridge on the passenger line okay good that ah oh, wow that looks like it might actually work so can I then connect this track up to the dock here uh, I think you are the which track are you are oh, you're the innermost one as it were so that's going there splendid right and I could double track this line immediately the one is tempted to because back in the day they didn't have that much money well they had loads they just extorted it from people gullible people they often did leave viaducts and stuff as single track so I could do that here for historical this, this line I am sure is in no sense historical in terms of accurate that is hysterical maybe but yeah well, let's, let's single track that let's see what chaos that causes okay uh, we'll double track through the bridge of course so come out of that uh, we'll do it yeah yeah that that that's quite a length of single track over the viaduct no don't do that uh, do it from there to there I think you're snapped yep you are okay and finally are you gonna connect yes you are result okay uh, I'll have a we will stick a double diamondy thing in here if it lets me do it on that curve it will yeah I'm not quite sure what the issue was with the Stroud Stonehouse line there was something very odd going on there which I don't think was entirely my fault I think there was something in the game itself which was giving me jip uh, okay you go in there and we'll stick some signals up here okay while that's auto saving let's just check this out so what we've got yeah that all works right so give me a moment I'll just connect the roads up to these stations and see if we can make any sense of them whatsoever okay so we've set up the truck stops that we need at the stations uh, I've actually made them a little bit oh, that was that was looks a bit mm, dinky quirky <laughs> little dippy uh, I've made the the cargo platforms a little bit longer because hopefully they will end up serving a lot of freight around their localities um, so they go in both directions there from that's called down end I think but down end and French eh? and Westbury here uh, again it just makes traffic easier I think if we can send them in and out of those stations and here we do have uh, an originating location so the question is can I get trains there I do have a depot here that's very handy can I draw any track at all from there over there without interrupting the flow of ships uh looks like the answer might be no if it doesn't like going up that much okay can i get a bridge across there actually does it mm, it does need to be something of an angle i'm afraid actually that's that's not too bad actually uh, M always oh, happy with that it is right will that actually work okay so let's put a proper bridge in there though uh, what have we got down here okay the, yeah those are good bridges without supports we would like one with supports do any of these have supports 
Not that you can whoops, not that you can see particularly. I mean that's that's a nice design, but uh, yeah, these these all look like viaducts. I could spend more time with this mod and check all these out, but I'm not going to do that for the moment. Oh, I'm not sure you. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, let's try that one. And can we connect? Oh, we can connect you to the depot. Excellent. All right, that's that side done. Can we do that over here? It's looking less amenable. Yeah, don't... Oh, come on. Go down for me. Why does it not want to go down? You're going up as much as you can. It's not going to do it. Darn! If I take you out a bit, will you let me do it? Yes. Right. Okay. And you. Can I connect you to the other track as well? You know, just, just for good measure. Excellent. And also that one. Now that looks really bad. Let's do that one first. Up to there. That's good. And you can come down there. That looks a, a little less awful. Okay, so can we design a freight route from there? From Avon Docks to Westbury on Trim to um, have I picked the let's make sure I pick the actual train station. Westbury on Trim. Okay, and it cannot connect them all. Why not? Ah, would that be because there's a, a slight lack of track here? That might be the reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's connect you there. I've still got that message there. So if we put you on platform one, okay, right, you can go out that way. That's cool. Uh, probably do with a switch at this end. Because right, you are a terminal at the moment, or a terminus. There you go. Oh, and the warning's gone, which is a good sign. Does that mean? It does mean. It works. Oh my goodness. Right, what's that line? Oh, that's the passenger line. Yeah. <laughs> Purple line. It's just the odd way it curves through that. That looks magnificent. Okay, it's going to need to be a train with a fair amount of grunt. It doesn't need to be too fast. Oh, you're a, you're a nice choice, aren't you? Actually, 900 and 102. You are indeed a very nice choice indeed. You're expensive, mind. But... Uh, you could do the job, I reckon. Um, you, you possibly could. But I don't think we've used this one yet. And it does say goods train, doesn't it? So, uh, for the Highland Railway, well, this line does go up and down a little bit. Uh, 461, heavy freight duties. Yes. Okay, we will use one of those green ones. That's you. And we want uh, passenger uh, cargo wagons. 
The carrying con mat uh, add up to 62 miles an hour. Ooh, naff is. Yes, I put this one in. It's a bit of a cheat. It does carry all cargo types, but, you know, it. yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to explain myself. I like it because it works. It makes life so much easier. Now, you go faster. You carry six, but not con mat. Bother. And I imagine you are all slower and smaller up here, aren't you? You're still not carrying con mat. Uh, what do you guys carry? Again, not con map because you're a box car. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, so, yeah, 50 miles an hour. We, our train is going too fast for us. Uh, it's faster than we need. But, yeah, we could, we could do you. We don't need two compartments on the Naffy, so we'll stick with the standard flat car, which is the base game. Okay, uh, we will buy. How many of you do we want? Uh, let's take 40 to start with, shall we? We'll buy one of you. And can I assign you to line one? I can. Excellent. Right, I'll give that a name in a moment and also put some trucks into these towns. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have put down some cargo stops here in Westbury. So we have some new lines here. We have that local delivery line there for Westbury. We have one for Frenchay, going down there, and one to Downend. And... We have a train on our new Line 1. I'll give it a sensible name at some point. Which is picking up roughly no cargo, I imagine, at this point in the game. It needs to leave, I think, the Conmat plant with a destination in mind. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's the sort of this next stage in the delivery or is the end, the final destination of the uh, the factory as it were that wants that cargo or oh, sorry the building the workshop that wants that uh, that wants that cargo but we shall see but anyway that's it yes thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of transport fever 2 it took a while getting there but um and i'm not entirely convinced that this layout is perfect i will do a little bit more tinkering i imagine just to fix some of the roads in particular and some of these junctions perhaps a bit more signaling as well wouldn't go amiss uh, and we'll come back in the next episode and see how successful this has been i think what we will need to do is uh, increase this raw material this initial manufacturing process as well so we'll need to add resources to that to make sure we get enough combat coming down the estuary into Avonmouth Docks. But that's it. Yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, if you've got anything to say in terms of critique, constructive criticism, hints, tips, recommendations, it would be great to hear from you. Um, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.